Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Little Squacky here. I hope you like F1 racing. Because we're taking the little Ford Stage 3 Evo. The who? The Stage 3 Evo. And there she is right there. This is the final offer of, that I, we're going to produce of this car. Um, and it's got chrome handles and key slots on both sides of the doors this time. It is absolutely maxed out as far as goodies go. Now, let's look in here. I learned some things I didn't know two days ago. And look, we put it right to use. Beautiful carbon fiber. Lightened up the back end just a little. Even the little blades on that alternator are carbon fiber. Look at a showroom chrome. And check out those new fog lights. Oh, they're the top of the line. Well, guys, here we are. Kunos. Top of the line cars. They're ass kicking. Come on. Welcome to you. I'm so thankful that you <clears throat> saw fit to come to the Humble George channel and to check out another video. And this time I'm not going to let you down, as I try never to anyway. But take a look at this beautiful car by Nathan Biddle Combi and Mike Rudland. Just an outstanding car. It was featured on Single Racers channel. And as you've probably seen quite a, well, several uh, videos that I've put out with this car in the last few days. But there's something about it I just couldn't let go of it. It's just, I got up at 3 o'clock again this morning and worked till, shit, 6 o'clock on the car. It's just such an outstanding build of its own accord. It just was a shame to not finish off a few things like, well, let's not get too close. But, I mean, the door, now, I realize this is a rally car, so you don't want bells and whistles on a rally car. What you want is you want, it's going to get dinged up, scraped up. And uh, go like a some bitch across the ground, and that's what you want. And this thing will do every bit of that and be true to what it was designed to be. Now, Squonky, as you know, was my uh, imaginary gray squirrel for a mechanic, although he seems realer than I do half the time. Um, he's kind of like the co host of the Humble George channel, as you've gotten to know over the years. But uh, there, take a look at this particular car and get a, get the good eyeball at it, and it's a sweetie heart. And if you got this one, if you could get it off of a, a Soto Land Cars, um, their sight's been down for the last few days, so I'm lucky I snagged this when I did. But with all that aside, <clears throat> hang on a second. Let me uh, shut this down, and we'll open up this one here. Okay, so see what, a, it's, it's just an outstanding, now I haven't learned how to do animations yet, so I can't offer that as part of a squonk built car, but what I can do, as I'll show you right here, is here's the final, final unit, and I'll, I'll give you the same cut, well, in fact, let's, if you don't know how to update your previews, just come down to this drop down arrow and go to options, give it a few seconds and it'll come to life. And there it is. And if you grab the screen with your mouse, you can wiggle it around. And if you use your arrow keys to the far right of a shooting match here, you can uh, get it lined up for a nice shot. Just come over. If you want them all done, you update all the skins without confirmation. But this one, we're just going to give this just a one blast here. And um, then we'll go take a look at it. And you, you'll see what it is to have a squonk built version of the car and I wrote a nice little thing in here that tells about it and gives full credit to the original author which I don't ever try to take credit for any of these these uh, remods because without the original person I wouldn't have anything to do um, they're like my employer it, well I don't get paid but nonetheless the other one didn't have headlights that worked this one does it's now got upgraded uh, beautiful fog lights I found uh, I now realize these are not three-dimensional, they're just uh, two-dimensional, but hey, they, they light up and they work. And if you'll notice now, <clears throat> pardon me, we got nice chrome door handles, and uh, and the interior of this one's not done very well, but we do have some nice NOS bottles on the side, which it didn't come with before. And if we come over here and we open up the trunk of Rooney, which we will do, you will now come in to see some other accoutrements. Now, this might not mean anything to you guys, but then again, if it does, check it out. I mean, the little blades on the fan are all carbon fiber, so she spins a little easier. 
lightened up the frame with carbon fiber, used nice show chrome for the springs, came in here and uh, fixed all of the hoses with now uh, stainless steel chromed hoses, so they're good to go. Uh, we, this one doesn't particularly have the uh, yellow plug wires, but the next skin will. So we'll just come on over to this one, and that one has them. Uh, has a little bit. See, you can change the textures in the in the skin folder, and that keeps you from having to monkey around uh, with stuff that you probably wouldn't want. I mean, you don't want every single skin to look a, to look the same. And we did add just a little something here, so you'll know that this was done in New York by Humble George. Just the re the remod of it, you know. Obviously, I can't do the the whole thing, but what an outstanding car! And I figured. For this video, because I made a comment in there about it being F1 capable, we're going to migrate this car to my F1 garage, and we're going to take this puppy out against F1 cars, and... Place your bets, guys. Place your bets. That's all I can tell you. Place your bets. Bet with confidence, I'll tell you. I haven't run this against F1 cars yet, so my mouth is flapping, and now we'll see if my ass can cash the check. Look at those nice, look at the shocks. Don't, I mean, and check out the carbon fiber around this here. And if you look, I didn't even know this thing existed. I thought it was an F up at first. This little fin here, that was a part of the original stuff. And man, I'll tell you what. It freaked me out when I first saw it. Oh my God, something went ape shit. But no, that's the way it's meant to be. But the shocks look phenomenal now. To me, to me they do. And this is all a matter of, uh, you know, what you like for your own self. I can't, I'm not building a car specifically for somebody else, but I can, I can do it for myself. And my goodness, I'm pretty happy with this. As I say, I think it's been over, over a week working on this car and I am absolutely overjoyed with it right now. This thing is, is just a handling monster, absolute handling monster. So let's, let's, if you don't know how to do stuff like car garages and what have you, let me give you a quick show on how to do that. Now, this is what we're going to do. First of all, we got to just minimize this or get out of there somehow. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to get, I mean, I did say there was 37 working lights. I, oh, I bullshitted. There's 36. Well, I'll have to change that. But 36 working lights in the in the rascal right here, and the. Let's see. Get out of there. Get out of here. Come on. Let's let's just do this thing. And these are the materials that I I was able to develop, in order to do all this stuff. I at one time was going to add a second seat to the car, but it the NOS bottles took over, and um, wheels and disc brakes stock are all been harvested. And if you ever do do uh, want to replace wheels, you have to start with the left front, go to the left rear, go to the right front, go to the right rear, or else these will not line up with the dummies that are in the car. And when you do something like this, you're going to end up with a disc, you're going to have suspension, and you're going to end up with a wheel. And all these have to be put in the proper place. So it's not without, um, I mean, like, like the doors. We got the left side, we got the right side, but all the things have to be done in pieces. The bezels, bezel text, without the six-speed thing. There's a lot to this, and it does take a good amount of time. But with all that said, Let's set this out on a desktop, and let's make a copy of this car, Final Stage 3, just go copy, and now we're going to a subtle Corsa, we're going to go open up content, and let's see, here's all the Kunos cars, so there must be some F1 type deals in here, so we're going to pop it right in there, paste, okay? And let's, uh, oh, next thing you want to do is, this is where I was. I'm just going to write my garage. Okay, that way I'll know where I was and where I'm going to go back to. And 
Kuno's isn't going to get you a garage, so you have to write garage. It's that easy. Or cars. There we go, cars. Boom. Just like that. Now I know right where I was before, if I didn't already know. And then here's our, our cars, which will show up now. If I wanted to race them against super carts, there's my super carts. You just change that to cars and you're good to go. And that keeps everything in, in nice shape. So let's, come on, let's get right back here. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm actually, I get a freaking ball out of this. I have more fun than at 66 than I think I ever had before. So we come on in here, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, to drive, and we're going to get the proper little car right there. And I guess that, that's going to work for just fine. Now once we go into the car, wait, no, I'm sorry, I already had it. Um, wait a minute, watch. This is where we want to fix this error. See, when you see these, it just means it need, it doesn't have a parent, so make it independent. That way, if you ever ran without the content manager, a subtle course would recognize the car itself. So let's, uh, let's pick a night, not this particular track. Uh, what would be a good uh, Bathurst, Bathurst, Barcelona, um, a good F1 track. You guys are probably jumping up and down. Oh, I know which track. I know which track. Yeah, well, I can't hear you, unfortunately. So how do you go wrong with uh, De La Sarth? Well, you guys know. Well, <laughs> we always go there. All right, doggone it. Yeah, but at least I know the song, bitch. Okay, and we're going to do this anyway. It's Le Mans Day. And without the chicane, I don't want the creepy-ass chicane. No chicane night, no chicane. Yeah, all right, that's on the chicane. Okay, now, since we're going to have a race, we can't have all these little evils. It'd be too evil. <laughs> so, so let's see what we can do. Let's go to the Ferraris, and um, let's see if, if we can figure out which one might be an F1 car. Is that enough? Yeah, there, add this sucker. There's another one. Add that. Eh, not that one. Man, eh, throw that thing in. Um, ah, there's one. Whip that in there. Oh, whip that in there. Okay, hang on. Let's not go bananas. Somebody else must have these, too. Uh, who else might have F1 cars? Lotus. How do you go wrong with that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I know, single racer. I can hear you now. Type 49 going in. Boom. Going in. Going in. That's enough, don't you think? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight competitors <clears throat> running at a hundred percent, three laps, windy. Uh, let's get a decent time of day so we got good sunshine. Temperature sixty degrees, optimum. We got tire blankets are on. Now see this little thing says Pro Humble chipset or whatever that is, preset, watch this. Hit that, and it'll tell you what it is. This is very important if you run any cars of mine, that it's set up like this. You want no ideal line, no shifter, auto shifter, no auto clutch, no auto blip. ABS is off, which means all but stop. Traction control, shit can that. Stability control is zero. Fuel is one. Tire wear one. And uh, mechanical damage should be completely off. I believe it is. It's supposed to be anyway, or we're screwed. All right, but I'm pretty sure it is. So are you ready for this, guys? We are ready for this. We are ready for this, you're saying. Okay, come on. Let's have right at it then. This should be good fun. F1 cars at Le Mans. With a little tiny car that's, yeah, but when it comes from Nathan Diddle Comby, 
hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo, you don't have to worry. He's not going to uh, give you something to uh, go home crying because it doesn't work good. You guys into this? I don't know, but I'm into this. Squonky's into this shit, too. He's jumping around. But he had errands this morning, so you may not hear from him. But you w wouldn't be too surprised if he comes wheedling in here in a minute. Hope he brings another cup of coffee with him. Okay. There we go. Sounds uh, a little intimidating. We're going to want all the gear we can get. The tires are happy. I use experimental slicks off the Red Bull Racer. We're going to want as much fuel as we're going to need. 72, that'll do it. Give me 10% turbo. Aero. Cut it down to four. Down to four. Drive train. Differential post, 40, 45%. We're good to go. Back to 30%. 
the hell is that other car? Could be that far ahead, isn't it?
very surprised that they catch up with me now. Not that it wouldn't happen, but... Both sides push it in hard, crash the car. If it twisted around, the loose would be an idiot. You're this far ahead. Got to the breather room. Fifth gear. Oh, oh, Alright, that would be exciting. I didn't know he was that close. Alright, woohoo! did the AI lines for this track so they would slow down enough and not just pile up at the corner. I think this is the track he did it for at least. Otherwise we end up in a ditch. Fix. See it? It's not doing its thing anymore.
stable as it gets. Things like a bird eye or a fool's bollocks. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I may not be the fastest worker, but I'm trying to control a week to get this thing to where it is now. Here the bastards, it's like wolves chasing it. Poor little sheep. Little sheep's got fangs. And claws. That's the difference between a simulator and an arcade game. It's, this really takes into consideration so many different factors, and they really work. Here's the burnout, I think. And actually, we don't have a decent camera. Jody, I need help, man. thing when you hit the change, change camera view and the audio takes a, a wicked slap. You have to adjust that in the video or it sounds really, really bad. Maybe learning a proper time to when to change the camera would be
all-wheel drive car designed by the factory to be so. Nathan makes the best all-wheel drive and it's in there, I'll tell you. Watch this shit. I wonder if we got a better one. That one might be better. Well, guys, as you can see, I got my little app back and I am all like the net. Put him away while he's happy. Okay, I hope you liked it. Um, let me know in the comments your thoughts, and I will see you on the next one. Humble George out.